Well, I'm at the land of Nada. It's uh, 9.50. I'm not going to spin it. I'm just picking up a bunch of knives. I just picked up the knives, actually, on 43rd Street. Now I'm going to uh, pick up one more knife at another spot. And then I think the Mumbles Man and myself are headed to the land of Nada. around noon weather permitting just got an email from the Wednesday market lady uh, what do they call it Hampton Boulevard Farmers Market the forecast is so bad for that she's already canceled it <laughs> so I'm free Wednesday but the forecast is terrible it's thunder and lightning and lightning and thunder and all that kind of stuff I'll get back to you in a few minutes when I get straightened out here this is the second pickup, one meager bonery knife. And here is the first pickup. I haven't opened them up yet. There's a gathering in here though, I can tell you that. I'm not gonna bother y'all with all this knife crap. Just I'll be busy this afternoon and tomorrow. Farmers market for tomorrow has already been canceled, I think I told you. Or weather. So I guess we'd be staying in tomorrow. I see, I got everything ready. I'm gonna get the mumbles man in about five minutes. There's still some rocks in there, so. We're going to try to bay today. I'm not going to the land of the Nada. We may move and go to the Gray Matter City after we leave here. We don't find much. It's just to the west of us, about a mile or two. We're going to try it right here, though. I'll get back to you. Well, we got a little more wind than what I wanted, but it's not bad, as you can see. We got a little candy here and there, condos, Mumbles Man. We're on our way. I'll get back to you. Yeah, we got a solid 16 right here on the edge. No telling what 16 is, bottle cap probably. I don't hear no iron grunt, but I hear something. Right there. Nothing in the hole. Let's see what this is. Old piece of fence post, I think. The bottom end of it, maybe. tie today. I think that bar that you see right there, that outer bar, that may dry up. We're two hours, we're three hours early for the bay because we had planned to go to Nada. So it's, uh, we're working about just over my knees right now. I've dug a, a pull tab, an old cruddy pull tab, and that piece of iron. And I've been here, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. So there ain't many targets right here. I think the Mumbles man has uh, dug a few more targets than me, but I don't know what they consist of. Stand by, we'll see how it goes. Uh, minus five and a high 29 together. I think it's probably junk. Whatever it is, we got it on the first scoop. Huh? That's the corner, that's what it's supposed to be. Maybe there's some iron there beside it. <coughs> you listen around here a little bit. Yeah, a little iron right there. So we got 25 meager cent now. Improvement. Big money. But on the edge outside of it, it's jumping. Wasn't very deep. We got whatever it is. Yeah, baby. Just what I suspected. <laughs> I saw it 14. My old 
escape, getting a little suntan today. That poor boy needs more than suntan. At least he's got his wings. You see, it's drying up good here now. This little wet spot is only about an inch deep. But there's no targets hardly. I mean, hardly. And I finally dug a nickel and a piece of aluminum. And I'm going down here to this big hotel here. And I see a big hole in front of the hotel. I'm going to hunt that for a while. My old man's behind me. I haven't talked to him in an hour, I guess. All right, I'll get back to you. It looks really nice right there. There's like two or three little holes right through here. It looks as nice as uh, you could draw it on paper. That ain't bad either. Let's see what we can find in this little couple of depressions right here. Some nice rocks and everything. I just dug a bottle cap. I don't know. We got a tiny piece of aluminum out of that hole right there. Now we're going to go in this one over here, which is directly in front of the hotel. Shower 21. Dosaki? I don't know. Ka! Ball spot. Everywhere we've been today. I got a hole right here and another one beyond that one. Maybe another one beyond that one. I don't think I'm going much further. Solid 15. Let's see what this is. It's rather big, I think. According to the pinpointer. I mean, the uh, what do you call that thing? Sure, it's iron now. It's got that bell tone, you know, I call it the Garrett Bell tone. Deep iron gives you that metal just like the Garrett if you listen to it long enough. I'm digging it up now just to see what the hell it is. So this is six inches deep still. That's why it was big. There it is right there. I hit it that time. We might find it this time. See what it is just out of curiosity. Come out of there, Taquito. Yeah, you see that rust? Man, we got this nice baby, whatever it is. Look at that rust. There it is. Whatever it is. Oh yeah, this is a fine thing right here. Look at that nice washer. Isn't that something? You round with a hole in it. Enter the second hole, third hole I guess it is, four ounces of gray matter. 
first gray matter of the day. I take that as a good sign. 17, about three foot away. 17 is a better, finer ticket. Now look at that one. Isn't that something? That's a nice baby right there. Some stuff here, baby. A three. Then it moves to a six. Then it back to a three. We got it. Let's see what it is. Oh, another fine ticket. Just what I was looking for. I got a five now. See where it fell through at all. Yep, minus numbers now, you see them? No more digging in this spot. I mean, in this hole. You can see the outer bar is way out on this hole. People dried up out there playing. Little kids up to their chest trying to get across. Hello. Nice dogs. Stand by. Just started out as a good tin, but it's got iron around it, or either it's a bottle cap or something. But it sounded good, then it's got iron. Well, the iron is still there, but there's no tin there. Oh, that's why it's a fine, another fine ticket. Okay. Wind is picking up. I know that. The little waves is chopping. I'm up to my, uh, you know what, right now. Oh, this place is loaded with iron. the back to the truck. I want to hunt up here in the in the slope. See if I can find anything up here in the slope on my way back. Nothing in the water. Well, we're home from the ball spot. This is just a little maintenance tip for you saltwater guys. You got to take this out at least two or three times a week. If you don't, it'll seize up. I presume everybody knows that. But for you guys that just getting this Knox, messing with the saltwater, if you don't, you're going to be damn out of luck. Now, Mumbles Man, he didn't take his apart enough. His is froze up. you got to put a lot of spray oil in there and crap and then take a pair of uh, pipe wrench and twist it around. It'll, it'll eventually free itself up. But if you don't do that on a regular basis, you're asking for trouble. That salt and that sand gets in there, it does something to this mechanism right here. Or in, and it freezes up everywhere. But that's just a tip for you. Take it or leave it. Look at that. That's what I got in store now. I've only walked 500 miles and I got to cut grass for two days. 
I need to be on that plane right there. I know y'all can't see it. Going to some place. Okay, I'll get back to you then. No Lear will fly for that. 33 cent. I thought I had another penny, but I must have lost it. Some meager gray matter. This might be the best of it. Knee high, maybe. And it says 1929 on it. I don't know if that's the date it was made or I don't know much about bottles. But that's 1929. That's a cool ticket right there. If you like broken glass bottles. Bottoms. Momo's man's got honeydews tomorrow. He can't go. No farmer's markets. It's blowed out, rained out, canceled. I don't think I'll be able to go either, but if for some reason the weatherman is uh, incorrect, which happens occasionally, I want to shoot on out there. I just finished up bagging up all them knives from this morning. And the other one's over there. I'm getting ready to hit to the recliner and watch the Nationals and the Yankees. If Chris can get away from the, the voice or idol or something she's watching. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. Stand by. There's a Mumbles man nut. He got three quarters and two dimes. Some bottle cap, some crap like I got. It's a bad day in the bay today. It was just no Harley, no nothing at all. No bling, no nothing. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Beaver went on the river with uh, Gig Master Steve, and let's see if we can find out what he found. He couple he dug a couple bullets, I think. Yeah, there it is. A buckle, a, a knapsack hook, a three ringer, musket ball, and I think that's all. And a piece of plate. And he said, this may be a piece of shell, but he's not sure about that. Okay, that's the roundup. All I know about. Hope to see you again tomorrow.